Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and another episode of the Battle for Astrakhazi. So the Night Gaunts have moved into the town now, and after establishing a small base, have come under attack by Reaper forces. Alright, well here we go. So, uh, the, the layout of the unit is a little different now. Yep, so commander. we've got 10, uh, 10 of us into play. Uh, Gatekeeper is switched out. We've got the Vulture in now. Um, so we've got a wide variety of stuff on the Vulture. Got improved incendiary on a pair of MRN 10s. We've got our LRM 50 on this thing. Um, we've got NARC, standard, LK, and incendiary ammo. So we're going to actually just start with the uh, LK. And we'll switch. Let's put the LRM 10 on NARC for now. I don't know if we'll need it, but we do have it if we need it. <coughs> Excuse me. So second last, we've moved Rose up. She's actually piloting the uh, the Nova for now. Uh, she probably won't stay there, but for now, just for this battle, she will be. We brought our Demolisher up with Marlin, and then Wendigo is piloting the Bandit. Uh, so we've got two full mech lances now. Receiving you. And this is an attack and defend against the Lothian League. Three and a half skull. So the base we've got to destroy is over here. Um, and it looks like we've got two lances of... Oh, we got future, that's our future EVAC zone, but it looks like there's one lance here and probably a second lance over there. So we're facing two lances to start, so we're going to have to get up there pretty quick. Um, yeah, so let's just do that. I don't know what our chance to hit's going to be. If I sound a little off today, guys, I apologize. It's, uh,. Yeah, we're not going to bother taking a shot on this one. Um, so this is Tuesday for me, Tuesday evening. Um, I uh, got my COVID shot on Sunday. Ready to get it on. And it's knocked me on my ass for two days. So, um, <coughs> yeah, it's, uh, wow, man. Sorry, it's a COVID vaccine. So I don't have COVID or anything, but still, uh, the vaccine has just put me on my ass. Yes, Commander. But it's, I mean, it's done that to a lot of people. Like, everybody that I know is, like, um, has very similar like issues. People, like, I sort of have been attributing it to, like, being hungover. Uh, but for me, it's like, I don't even know how to explain it. It's just, like, it's the most fatigue, like, I've ever felt. Just so tired. Ready. Okay, let's keep moving forward. So the mech loadouts are the same as last time, ex with the exception that we have the Vulture in play now. I've been playing a few um, offline missions to generate some sea bills enough to get the uh, fourth um, landing pod into play. Let's get you up to here. Um, so yeah, now that that's in play... Um, like, we can get off this planet. This is actually like a, a three-skull urban planet, or a three-skull planet, sorry. Not urban planet. That's not good. Waiting on you, Commander. So we're going to get off this planet, but the Nova's loadout um, with the, the pair of Ultra 5s has been working really well as a fire support mech. I'm kind of preferring it. It's a like really nice loadout. pair of Clan Ultra 5s. Yeah. How can you guys miss that target? It's so huge. All right. I hear you. Get up here. Now I know I could probably get into a position to target the buildings and stuff. Metal to the metal. But um, I'm gonna save the ammo. We use the ammo against the enemy mechs, and then if we're down to lasers and stuff, we'll use that in the buildings. Oh, shit, I forgot to put the AMS Mark II on. On to overload. Who is this? I don't know. Good to go. Okay, let's get you up here. Get some scouting done up here, I think. On it.
So this is supposed to be a town, not a big city like this, but um, uh, obviously there's like no town fighting, which is, I mean, I wish there was, but like if I had done Battletech, I would have done so many different, like such a wide variety of different maps. Yes, Commander. I used to make them when we were playing uh, Battletech. We used to make our own. Actually, one of the... Uh, like, I used to play a, a game called Squad Leader, Avalon Hill Squad Leader, uh, which was a war, World War II squad-based game. And I had built a, uh, a pair of massive maps for that thing that we were also using for Battletech. Oh, Christ. They got a nasty-ass turret back there. All right, we need to get on their buildings fast, or at least their turrets fast. Waiting for orders. They're just so far away. Full sprint this way. Confirm. All right. Ah. Uh. Base turrets. We got a Copperhead, Icarus 2, Commando, Rifleman, Sniper turret with PPC. There's the Thumper turret. Two PPCs. Hatchetman. Where's the other turret? Is there one? I don't know, but we got to kill this turret like now. Uh, I gotta switch to incendiary, do as much damage to it as early as possible. Because it's gonna destroy our buildings if we don't. Engaging target. Yeah, it's gonna take so many turns to kill that thing. Commander. Alright, how do we want to do this? Problem is our buildings stick out like sore thumbs. Confirmed. Let's get up this way. Okay, who else do we have here? I'm receiving you. MRMs. Uh, how do I want to do this? Is this a blackjack? What is this guy? Blackjack. Rocket techie. That guy can't be allowed to shoot either. We should have at least another turn with this guy, though. Let's get up. Here. I think we gotta spend this turn positioning. Anyone that's got the range should shoot at their uh, the, the thumper turret, but everybody else we've gotta get into position here, I think. Ready for orders. Okay, um Where do I want you? I don't want to bunch up either, you know. Let's get into here. Double time. Let's go. This might end up being tricky. The weird thing is, I was thinking about, oh, I've got eight max now. I don't need to bring. Uh... Yeah, he's gonna shoot right the building. Not a damn thing I can do about it either. Like I can't see anybody. Um, I was gonna. I wasn't gonna bring the two vehicles. I was just gonna like. Just try with the 8 max. Could have been bad. Could have been bad. At least now we can shoot at somebody. Let's get on this guy. Affirmative. I think the copperhead's only 30 tons, so we should be able to kill that pretty quick. Yeah, it's got pretty light armor. Uh, let's just fire it. Up. Time to die. Ah, shit. I shouldn't have shot the narc, but whatever. Whatever. OK, 
Okay. Commander? Rosie the Rose. Let's get that fire support mech up here. It's going to be a couple of turns before you'll be able to shoot. Yeah, I think we go up this way and attack these guys from the flank. It's going to take us just the amount, same amount of time to go around this way as it will to come up that way. Fuck off. Go away. Get up here. Alright, let's see if we can get a narc on this thing. Oh, it's out of range. There's the last dirt there. It's out of range. Don't have a hell of a lot of ammo though either. Um, pretty good chance to hit though. Let's just kind of go through everybody here to see. Yeah, we're getting lousy shots. What do we have the 80 something on? Oh, I must have been hovering over our building nearby. Yeah, there's no point in shooting. No point in shooting. We'll just hold off. We can't get that back turret. Like, what's the point? Waiting on you, Commander. Okay, parallel LRM tens. You're probably out of range too. Let's get into here. And then let's get the AMS on. To overload. Yeah, there's nothing I can do about it, guys. Give me some shorter buildings to defend. Order. Full speed, take this side. Razorback, okay. So, I guess we have to... I guess they gotta knock them all down. What's up, boss? It's not saying how many they have to kill. Copy that. Thank goodness this thing is so fast. I got lots of armor. How's his back here? Ah, it's not that bad. Let's just fire at it. Roger that. Target's taking a critical hit. I only shot down one, so that's all right. That guy's gonna get gang banged really fast. Okay, well at least they didn't shoot for the buildings. You can't take much more of this. Yes, you can. I'm taking a pounding, Commander. Got no choice. All right. Somebody shoot that rocket techie. I got one hit on him. Looks like a chemical explosion. All right, who's up? Commander. Alright, we still need to go out to that thumper turret, so let's get up here. It's doing too much damage to us. Commander? Alright, uh...
We want to go after this guy, the Icarus, right away. That's a lot of armor. Um, let's reserve you. Holding for tactical advantage. Okay, yeah, we're we, we're kind of not really in the right position yet for that. Like, I mean, I guess. We could try and jump them now, but I think we wait. I think we wait and get most of our guys up here. Get them in perfect strike position. No target. Because then we can just all move out at once. If they've got to kill all of our buildings, I don't think they're going to have the juice to do it. So we're going to get the uh, demolisher up on the left hand flank to handle the, the mechs on that side. I think it should be more than enough with the uh, with the bandit hovercraft to handle that side, plus our turrets. All right, Grendel. Let's reserve you. I think we're gonna wait past the Icarus to see what he does. Holding action, Commander. Okay, let's bring up those AMSs. AMS is. I read you, Commander. Moving out. Drop some lerms in this back turret. Not the best chance to hit, but uh, let's warlord it anyway. Give a slightly better chance. Maybe hit with one or two more missiles. Right, Commander. Okay. It's almost down to half armor. Almost. Okay, same thing. See if we can get a narc on this thing too. Uh, yep, standard and narc. Here it comes. Yep, looks like we did. I saw one go by, so we probably narked it. I'm ready. Uh, we're gonna reserve you past the Icarus. Okay, that's the razor back. He's gonna meet up with the demolisher very soon. Actually, this turn he's going to get a face full of demolisher. I'm here. Uh, let's get our fire support up. Ready to move out next turn. No, we're metal affected. Interested to see how many rockets that thing used. God, they almost got the second building. They'll probably get it this turn. Commander. So this guy, he's got two rocket pack tens. Let's get over here. here it comes. Come on. Yes. Reporting vehicle destroyed. That was a quick kill. I probably should have gone for him the first turn, but I thought I could probably at least severely cripple that uh, Razorback. Oh, you're going up in a building, are you? Okay. That was the Icarus, I think, wasn't it? Pretty sure it was. Here comes a rifleman. Shooting at the bandit, huh? Shooting at the bandit. Awaiting orders. So Icarus is That's a weird positioning. Copy that. Now that they've mostly gone, we can go after them. I mean, I guess we could shoot the building out from underneath them, but I think we'll probably do more damage to them this way. Copy that. 
Commander? Let's not give that right, guy down Commander. there our back. I think we're okay stability wise. Uh, let's go with the narc on this guy. Right, Commander. Nice, the narc hit. Commander. I think we go from the front. Affirmative. Didn't like that side attack, it only gave us uh, partial. So. Tracer ammo, okay, that's fine. Um, yeah, let's go with cluster rounds, better chance to hit. Let's turn it up. Hammer him! See ya. Most one. Yeah, I think that demolisher should be able to handle that side. Waiting for orders. I wasn't expecting that, but uh, I'll take it. Okay, let's get these MRMs in. I think we're in pretty good position next for next turn to be able to pounce on these guys. Uh, two harpoons. What hell does a harpoon do? Oh, I think it destabilizes you. If I'm not mistaken. I think I've seen one of those before where it actually hits you but causes a lot of stability damage. Which would make sense, right? Like it hooks into your armor and then it just kind of like pulls you around. Alright, a little bit of damage on that guy. So we're going to switch up the uh, demolisher will handle that... that uh Ooh, decided to shoot over there, did you? The demolisher will handle the blackjack and then uh, we'll move the... Uh, the bandit up to I think to attack that uh, big by. turret back there. We're pretty much all going before these guys, so that's going to put me in sight of this PPC turret. I don't want that. So let's go here. I copy. Not the best chance to hit, but we don't get targeted by the PPC. I think we want to go after the rifleman. Uh, I'm not going to use the tandems just yet, but will we we, we want to use the rockets. Yeah, we want to see if we can take at least an arm this turn. Uh, let's also sensor lock uh, Icarus, or because he's going 16. Most of us are going before him. This guy's going on 21 though, so that's a waste. Let's go after this guy with a sensor lock. But then let's hammer this guy. Firing on time. Okay, got a bit of damage in. I'm out of SRM. That's right. Got something you want done? I want to keep shooting that turret. And that freaking PPC turret is going to be able to see me here. Not here, though. Let's get into there. Coordinates received. Yeah, can't see me. Nice. And yep. I copy. This with the PPC, damn it. It's tagged though. So this is their commando's turn. Okay. What can I do for you?
Get into here. Got it. Max speed, no shooting. That should avoid the turret. Yep. And let's get on this guy. Tell me what to shoot. Ooh. The large laser hit the hatchet, man. Yeah. Critical hit. I'm receiving you. I'll use a little heavy fire support. All right, let's move. Let's get that heavy su fire support on this guy right here. And here it comes. Ah, crap. Not as many hits as I was hoping for. That hit something good. Ready for orders. So the demolisher is right. There, so we're okay. We're pretty much on that guy. So let's get up here. On my get those way, ATMs on that uh, back turret. Hopefully, now that we're shooting that back turret from over here with the hovercraft, it might decide to try and target the hovercraft instead. Uh, that's the high explosive. What? Yeah, there we go. Uh, yeah, let's just use the standard because it does more damage. Let's see how you like this. Okay, not bad. Standing by. All right, Ginny, get up here. We'll go. Everything on this guy. Confirm. Target's taken a critical hit. Okay, um... Waiting for orders. Yeah, we want a side shot, not a back shot. Can't get one unless I just jump into the buildings. Or onto the buildings, that is. I mean, we could go after the rifleman. That's going to put me in hatchet man range, though. Let's get out of hatchet man range. Stay on the rifleman. Don't know if that PPC turret can hit us, but... Uh, I wonder if it's time if we just incendiary this guy. Nah, let's just fire him. Quite enough for a knockdown. It's going on nine though, so we go way before him. Pretty much. Well, we got what? A couple people left. Thanks for showing up, buddy. Now I think we got to come up this way. Okay, for sake of argument, what's the targeting on this guy? 29, yeah, so we're still better off going... We couldn't follow up with, on the narcs on that thing, but... We definitely have a better shot at this killing this guy, so... This is probably going to kill him. Let's leave that off. No, it didn't. Got a knockdown, though. Is that it for him? Yep, he's out cold. Nice. Got past the armor. I was really hoping we could get a kill on that guy, but no big deal. We got the rifleman. Orders. B 
PPC turret can see me here. What if we do... This guy hasn't gone yet. You know what? Let's reserve. Let's get that uh, blackjack to go first. There we go. Because I was gonna, I'm gonna come around the corner, and I didn't want him to shoot me from behind. Wow, you know we're slow when our freaking turrets go before us. Demolisher, that is. Ooh. Someone's having a bad day. Are we even going to get a chance to kill this guy? I should just leave it to the turrets. Honestly. Yeah, damn it. I f Shit. This is getting serious. Yeah, it's my fault. I thought you were clear of those Death turrets model. when I moved you. Get over here. Let me show you what I think of blackjacks. That's just some pain right there. One left target. All right. Uh, Standing by. Now we can move you. Now you've got. Oh yeah, your stability's back because we. Uh, Oh, that, you can't actually get, oh, you can't get around there because that's uh, a drop-off. I didn't notice that. But, it's still in hatchet man range, though. Okay, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do this. Got it, Commander. Should go before everybody else next turn, so. And then we'll just hammer this guy with this stuff. Okay, the large hit. Or large improved hit. You know what I mean, the heavy medium Scored hit. It. Oh, he's got a good stability threshold, but not enough to save him from us. All right. Um, What's up, boss? Yes, Commander. Can we kill this hatchetman, please? That's the PPC turret. It's just got a well. It's still got a PPC. I was gonna say it's, it's just got a PPC and a machine gun, but. Does this put us in hatchet man range? I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. Now we've just got improved, right? No incendiaries? Damn it. We'll put the bolt on as well. Ah, oh, it's a bad chance to hit us. Not bother. Terrible. Good to go. Okay, we've got to get rid of this hatchetman. So let's. Uh, well, that's some bullshit right there. Can't see the hatchetman because that guy's on his back. What? Let's just push him. Forget it. This guy barely has, uh, like he's pretty warm as it is. Standing on fire. Okay, he should not be able... Well, he's got triple strength Myanmar's, Myanmar's, and it just looks like they just turned on, so... Um, 
That was your arm. Ooh. That's right arm. Let's get out of your attack range. Not the best chance to hit, but we're doing it. Here we go. Okay, he's narked. I'm all out of SRM, Commander. Lost evasive. Yes, Commander. Copy that, Commander. Let's go with some DAC on this guy. Here it comes. There's the knockdown. Okay. Oh shit. God damn it. Brain thinking one thing, body's doing another. I meant to click to get rid of that building on the top there so it would disappear, but... Nice. All right. Yes, Commander. Oh, it's indirect. I mean, we got a crap ton of armor on this thing. With the exception of the back. We just passed Saul's liquor. We're gonna have to go there after the battle. Maybe it's Saul's liquor and shawarma. We can get some shawarma after the battle. All right, let's uh, drop in some HE on this guy. All right, now what? Um, Waiting on you, Commander. Get here. Coordinates received. That puts the uh, the storm crow between us and this turret. Gives makes it harder to hit this guy. Uh, we go for the kill in the Hatcherman? I think so, if we can. See if we can get some through armor crits on him. Nice. When I shoot you, you'll take it and like it. Oh, he gonna take it, but he ain't gonna like it. Wait, where was the... There it is. Put you on this guy. See if we can get a headshot. Most likely we'll hit the CT, but... Yeah. Commander. Let's get around... You know what? Um... Where do the reinforcements arrive? Five rounds. We got a long time before they show up. Oh, what's what what? Oh, oh. Good to go. Hello there. Firing on target. Yeah, I know, Biggie. 
Why would you want to put an ultralight gyro on a hatchetman? The thing's like a melee. It's a melee mech. Why would you want to do that? Look at our chance to hit. We won't get a kill on this PPC turret. Let's get into here anyway, though. I know we're grouping up and it gives them a chance to uh, hit us with artillery, but... I think maybe we go after this guy, though. Uh... I think we do it with incendiary as well. With everything. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yep, there we go. Alright, one problem solved. Orders. Okay, PPC turret can't see us here, so we'll move Roger there. That. This guy's more of a threat because he's closer. And only because he's closer. If he got up and decided to melee one of our guys that are right in front of him, he could do some significant damage, so... Ooh. Machine guns, eh? Yep. Good. Shooting the right guy. Got the armor to take that. Nice. So I think we're going to move up. We're going to level these turrets. And then we're going to take on the rest of these... Uh, the rest of the enemies. Ready for orders. That's it, huh? That's all we got a chance to hit on that guy? I know he's fast, but... It can't be that fast. Roger that. Receiving you. Okay, Turk can't see me there. Confirmed. Get on this guy. Affirmative. Ooh. Somebody was carrying infernal ammo, ammo that shouldn't have been. Commander. Let's put you here for now. Ready for orders. All right, let's get on the first PPC turret that everybody can see right here. Affirmative. This should open up the front. Plus, if we miss, hopefully we can splash that building behind, which is a building that we have to destroy anyway. Okay, and then we've got I hear ya. you. And let's drop heat this way. Let's go with the large. It's, just, it's only because I want to save ammo on the LRMs. It's the only reason why I did it that way. Okay, we don't want to see the other turret. Location confirmed. Just this guy for now. This should be an easy kill. Yeah, loving the fire support on this Nova. Target Holy down. crap. Standing by. Okay. Roger that. Straight up on these buildings. Uh, 
Uh, wow. Only, really? Only a 46% chance on a building? Taking the shot. Sure. Receiving you. All right. Well, you don't need to be in there anymore. You can just kind of come over here. Location confirmed. And we're gonna switch it up to extended range ammo for these building shots because I want to save the HE and regular ammo for use use against any mechs that show up. Target All right, let's walk up to here. Yeah, we can switch this to NARC and then turn it off. Put you guys back to standard. Fire on the building. Yep, well, I'm loving the loadout on this thing. Just sit right here. I don't know where the enemy is going to show up next, so. Waiting for orders. All right, let's get this next turret over here. Acknowledged. Got enough mechs that can get in on this guy real quick, so we'll get this turret taken down. Acknowledged. This one I think is a single PPC turret. Stand and buy. Quick step in it. Okay, straight up on this guy. That should probably do it. Nice. We can get this last turret as well, too, I think, this turn. That turret is gone. And then we're gonna be standing around with our thumbs up our asses Orders. for a few turns. While we wait for the uh, enemy to show up, uh, maybe stand on fire. But whatever, doesn't do any damage to me. Roger. I'm receiving you. Acknowledge. Keg on the turret. I love it when that heavy improved medium hits, or the heavy medium hits. Heavy damage. Yes, you gotta be close for it, but when it does hit, just seeing that big 40 go up is nice. It may not be quite the I mean, it would probably be better off using an X-Pulse on that thing, but... Affirmative. It's fine. That's gonna hurt. Waiting for orders. Moving fast. All right, what can you get on this building? Anything? Yeah, what not waste, not wasting you? that narc. Moving out. Now, how much have we got left in this build on this turret? Not that much, right? Fifty-three. Can do fifty-five if we hit. Time to die. Are you serious? They've blown past my armor. You, you, you... I... What do I even say to that? What do I even... I'm gonna slap that guy in the back of the head as I run by him. What do I even say to that? Like, honestly... <laughs> what do I... <laughs> you shoot my own guy in the back with a 96% chance to hit on a turret. Like, what? I don't even... Whatever. Yes, Commander. All right, you hold there. I'll keep my heat down. Will it? All right, let's get you backing up this way. Roger, full speed. We want to get her back with the uh, demolisher. This is the demolisher's got some extra support. Let's do some damage to this building. Target acquired. Got two turns before they arrive. Ready, get it on. So let's leave an easy building to target for last, like 
this large one here. And we'll go after... Wait, what? Oh, it's these three that we got to kill? Okay. So let's target this guy. Uh, let's see the missiles off. We'll probably need them for the fights coming up. Copy that. Ready for orders. And we got lots of missiles for this guy, so... Okay, who's next? Good to go. Affirmative. Let's get you up here. Knock this building down. Here we go. Did I just use a narc? I did. All out of short range missiles, Commander. Wait, what building do we hit? This one? Oh my god, I had a lot of hit points left. Aye, aye. Yeah, blew right through the internals. Seventeen left. That should do Taking it. The shot. Love how the whole screen shakes and the building f gets flattened. Flatten that one. Okay, uh... Commander? Get over Moving here. Let's knock this guy down. Affirmative. Waiting on you, Commander. I shouldn't even let you shoot. Turbo. You better not miss. You betcha. Okay. Getting close. I'm here. This will probably. Oh Ten shit! I uh, put the Wendigo in the way. Or put Wendigo in the way. Uh, I think. Or Igor. I mean, sorry. The Grendel's in the way. I think we should be fine, though. There we go. Rot it down, Commander. Waiting for orders. Okay, you're sprinting back here. Going full throttle. Gotta drop a few rounds. We've got a little bit of time left before that next. Uh, Firing on target. We got, what, two rounds? So, this round and the next one. Let's do some heavy damage to this building if we can. Alright, perfect. Who's next? Orders. Keeping it. Okay, they're coming down there. Let's get into position, everybody. Standing by. They really, do, they really shouldn't tell you where the enemy is ar arriving. They should just say another, another Already. lance is on its way in. Because it, it just, like, if you've taken out the enemies like I have, it basically just allows you to like, commander, just encircle them and wait for them, you know. Which is what I'm kind of doing, but I'm not targeting the hex, you know what I mean? I could bore sight the hex and then wait for them to show up, but I would rather, like, not let them see me in case they're fast and... Aye, aye. I hear ya. Right, Commander. Okay. I'm receiving you. Get that DACA back here. Affirmative. Definitely gonna need that. Definitely gonna need it. A three and a half skulls. By. I'm hoping for something good, but you never know. And it's nice to know that this thing could end the end the battle. If it's bad, and we like if it's like four assault mechs that dropped in, 
This guy could just quickly end the battle and I don't have to worry about it anymore. Who's last? Gatekeeper. All right, see what they got. Uh, we've got what? Four more rounds. I have no idea what these guys are yet, though. Ready for orders. Let's see what they do. Standing by. It's not like they can take down all the buildings in one go. Waiting for the right play. Copy that. Okay, I think the Urban Mac, Hunchback, Talos, Whitworth. All right, well, uselessness. They're not moving. I guess they got really slow initiative. All right, let's light them up. Awaiting order. I think I'm going to end it after this. I'm not going to fight them all because it's just going to be a uh, turkey shoot, and then here we go. We're probably going to get garbage out of it anyway, so let's just end this. Let's just end this battle. We'll go. Wow, that's uh Yes, commander. Looks like a lot of missiles. Moving out. I said I got a lot of DACA for you. Supply some damage to this guy. Oh, he's got a Lerm 20. That's interesting. Okay, two hits. Okay, let's get down here. Who do we want? Doesn't really matter. Let's go with the one with the better chance to hit. Warlord this. Because it's going to be the last time you got a chance to use it, I think. Ooh, we missed with the big one. Critical hit, Commander. Receiving you. Keep applying the damage. Yeah, next uh, next episode we'll with these guys will be in a uh, on a different quote, a different quote unquote planet, but it'll be a higher skull, so higher skull rating. So we will take some higher skull rating missions in the city. Locked on. Okay. Yeah, let's get over here. I think if I was just goofing around offline, I would probably take on the remainder of the guys that came in. But there's no point, because this is just going to be garbage. Yes, Commander. On my way. Double time. That's only fitting we go up to this guy. Just to let him know he should have been carrying the uh, AC-20. He wants to show up on this planet. Inflicted some heavy damage. It's like we may have plinked his head. Or we took a torso or something. This guy got a thumper on it. I don't know. It's a big rifle, though. Um, Standing by. Oh yeah, I just want to let you guys know. Uh, for some reason, um, not exactly sure what what it is, but uh, in my my comments, like I go you go into my comment section to read comments that I haven't read before, but for some reason it seems to have 
at least it's what it's showing me, is taking off of the, uh, it's taken off all of my hearts and my likes from earlier episodes, so they're all showing up as new comments or something. So if I've accidentally made a comment on a, on something that, like a comment that you guys have made on a video that's been like a couple years old, that's the reason why, because I started going, oh, did I miss this? Did I miss this? So I'm just gonna, not going to bother, but anyway, yeah, I have no idea what the hell happened with that. I'm sure it'll fix it fix itself, but Reporting we'll see. What can I do for you? Okay, let's get you. No, you don't get to shoot between people. Not anymore. Max speed, no shooting. You don't get to shoot between anybody anymore. Well, at least in this mission. Got it. Did you see that? Did you see it? Yeah, just don't even talk. Just don't talk. Just finish the mission up. Yeah, school calling again. This is your COVID information. Waiting for orders. Yeah. Let's get right in there. We'll be toasty, but I don't care. Wow! Affected. Not, sure, not exactly sure what that is either, but we're going to fire these tandems as well. That's a kill. That is a kill. Are gone. Whoa, what the hell happened there? Did this building blowing up cause damage to everybody? Okay, that's pretty fucking awesome. I don't like the fact that it's my guys that got hit, but that's pretty awesome. Because now it's going to make me think I got to be careful about what I'm, where I'm shooting and what I'm shooting. I don't know what what brilliant ass thought thought of that, but that's that's awesome. All right, let's go this route. This guy should really be Daka though. He shouldn't be piloting this mech, but I love this mech so much. Let's end this. Let's a end this painfulness. On my way. This is the big threat right now. Roger. Not much of a threat, but it is a threat. I think I hit something good. Yeah, I think shooting this caused some kind of explosion. I'm receiving you. I haven't done a lot of city fighting, so maybe that was from the base game, but I have to be careful. That's, pre that's pretty awesome, I gotta say. Fire. Reporting critical hit. Oh, you get a chance to do something, eh? Not good for you. Okay, I think we got a lot of, uh, oh, we didn't hit any of them. He fired 76 rounds. Did that say zero from 76? It must have, I must have misread that. Maybe it was 26? No. I have to look at that in editing because I swear to God it said 0 from 76. I copy. I swear to God that said 0 from 76. Taking the 
shot. Target. Now nah, we're gonna kill these guys and then we're out of here. I, I I started freaking out there for a second. I thought, uh oh, did that gonna did, did that just end the mission for me? Okay, gonna do this. That way, if I miss, most likely we'll hit the urban mech. All right, let's give it to him. I missed the PPC. Ain't gonna bail out. On the move. Okay, it's got the urban mech. Might as well fire it all now. Firing all weapons. That's it for him. Hostile removed. And let's Out end this guy's direct. life and we can go home. Uh yeah, you could just Might as well keep my heat down. Yeah, that'll keep the collateral damage down. It's just not fired anybody. See ya. There it is, folks. Alright, see what we got here. A little bit of damage on the Kid Fox, and that was our fault. Oh, we almost killed it. Wow. We almost killed our own guy. And then, of course, I think it took damage from that thing blowing up too, right? So, that could have been really bad. That could have been really bad. He got three kills, though. Oh, wait, that was the, yeah, that was the Kid Fox. Sorry, yeah, he got three kills. All right, so we could take some stuff up here, but we're not going to bother because we have got more important things to grab. Plus, this is a clan playthrough, so we're not going to be grabbing rather regular inner sphere stuff. Mech Lance, five tons. Wonder if they had. Wonder if this was on the uh, the Hatchet Man. He uses special slot. Fires during punch physical melee attacks. Requires five ton carrying capacity. Plus one accuracy, two damage directly internals. Heat based on your evasion. Cannot be fired at flying targets. 20 times three, so it fires three times, I guess? That's interesting. Snow PPCs. Hot seat. So what's the advantage of the hot seat here? Injuries resisted. Armored cowl and guts. One and a half times melee damage when active. Plus 60 meters walk when active. 30 heat per turn when active. That's kind of pretty cool. That's definitely good for a uh, melee mech, for sure. I'm not going to be running melee in this actual, in the Nikon's playthrough, but we'll be using it elsewhere. I wish I could move stuff other over to other, uh, over to other members of the team. Like, to other playthroughs, that is, sorry. That's pretty nice, though. Okay, small cockpit, cockpit advanced. So it's, will save us a ton. But I think I would rather go with something that's going to give us gunnery or something else, right? Um, you know, let's throw it in for now. We might use it later. Pirate ECMs. You know, composites, the 300 core, which I'm probably going to take because we're going to need C bills. Fire control system jam, less jam chance. Nice for a rack build, I think. Uh, flamers. There's the... Ha oh, that came off the hatchet right there. The lance was probably on the Icarus. 
Sorry guys, I'm slow. I'm slowly losing it here. My I'm just so tired. Gonna have to call it right, 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 right after this. Okay, we're gonna want this. That goes without saying. Passive sensors. Lowers the sensor range, but provides additional target information. It's kind of interesting. Oh, supercharger. We'll take that. Upper recoil reduction. We'll take that. Now we're down to the ammo. So anything good here? Don't think so. Thumper ammo. Yeah, no biggie. Warfare suite. I think we've already got one of these. Yeah. Upper spiked. Increasing melee damage. Triple strength Mimar. I don't think we have. Be good if we we had, we're building a melee mech. This is good for sea bills. That's going to be like. 260,000 right there. Um, or a couple hundred thousand, that is. Yeah, I mean, I guess we take another one of these. We've already got one. I don't see it. I mean, we could take the double heat sinks too. We've got 12 of them already, though, so. And I would rather stay with the clan double heat sinks if I, ha if I can. So yeah, let's go that route. I think that's pretty good. I feel pretty good about that, I think. Okay, Blackjack, Hatcherman, yeah. Bunch of mech parts that we're going to sell. The fluid gun can go. The harpoon, we're going to just get rid of it. Four tons, 30 damage. But yeah, what does it do again? Destabilizes target's gyro by 15%. Double critical chance. Recall of three. Ten misfire. Recall time... Mo Times the multiplier equals misfire chance. Yeah. Jam chance as well. Technically a Gauss rifle, eh? Uses harpoon ammo. Yeah. Center rockets 15. We'll just hold on to those. We might end up using them somewhere down the line. I don't know. The rocket packs can go, though. Medium lasers can just go. Tandem rockets we'll hold on to for now. Small cockpit we're holding on to. The cores can go. Leg spike. Yeah, we're not doing the melee build in this one, so that can go. Unfortunately, we got a lot of melee stuff here, though. Hopefully we get the same on... Uh, if this was Lothian, I'm going to look for that same... Um, like, I'll look for Lothian League for um, Backyard Hooligans and the um, Dragon's Redracts to see if we can pick up some melee stuff. Alright, we'll do it that way. Uh, we'll just get rid of this too, I think. Do we? Doubles carrying capacity. Doesn't weigh any tons, right? That's the thing. It uses up slots. We're going to keep it. I think we'll probably end up using it on something. Alright, so before we go, let's have a quick look at the mech bay here. Um, just so I can show you the vulture. Or is it right here? So, we didn't have quite everything I needed to refit this guy, but so far it's actually working out not that bad. We had a half decent amount of prototype double heat sinks, now we got some more, so I might rethink the loadout. But we did have a lot of LRM, so that's why I kind of went with an LRM build in this. But now that we've got uh, some more prototype double heat sinks, because it's pretty heat efficient right now, right? Um, now we've got prototype double heat sinks. I'd like to be able to up the MRM launchers and the shoulders to 20s. Which I don't think we've got. Got plenty of LRM stuff. Yeah, we don't. We got an MRM 30 though. Then we could go with a 30 and two 10s maybe. So 30 on one shoulder and two 10s on the others. And then go with uh, ER lasers in the, in the, uh, on the arms. Something like that. We got a contra the uh, contraband um, fire control system in here. Which is basically like the pirate fire control system, pretty much. Um, it's just slightly better. So this one, um, it's the same. Plus one accuracy, plus one evasion pips ignore, plus one recoil, plus 10% heat generator. But then I think the, uh, where's the pirate one? Pirate one's slightly different. Uh, where is it here? Here it is here. So... No, it's the same, pretty much. 
minus 6% Seabill's cooling coolant cost multiplier. This is minus 7%. So it's pretty much the same. But I like the better I like the idea that it's a contraband one instead of a pirate one. So that's why I put it in. That's really the only thing. Um, but yeah, we got a uh, battle computer gunnery, which gives me increased gunnery optics. Now I've got the energy. Um, oh shoot, we didn't even have these put in. Why can't I put the Mark III zoom in? Advanced zoom. Oh, because we got the optics. That's what it is. Right. So this gives us. Yeah, this is basically um, the uh, Mark III optic system that you can put in there, which I, d I don't didn't have, so that's why I use this instead. That's right. I just didn't have anything else to, to drop in there. That's why I didn't do it. Like I don't know why I'm holding on to these gyros. I'm not like, I'm not like I can use them on anything, really. So we got five prototype double heat sinks now, so that might be able to help us out. Got two Klein XL engines I can sell at any time. Um, so weapon system wise like I mean I could switch this to a Dakamek pull off the Ultra 5s off the Nova put them on here one in each arm pull off all of the uh, missile launchers and maybe put an ER large laser in each arm as well that might work or we could put a couple of large ships like I wouldn't be able to sink the heat though this is definitely not like the last incarnation of Rogue Tech where didn't have problems sinking heat and all that stuff but now it's like you really gotta balance your loadouts and I really like that I really like the fact that you gotta think about how your loadouts are gonna go right so I do have some options here and now that we have extra prototype double heat sinks I got another I got five more that I could drop in we could re rework this so this is five ten um, twelve and a half and then three, six. So we, I mean, there's still a lot of weight. I don't know if I can run both Ultra Fives because the Ultra Fives I think are seven tons as clans, plus at least two tons of ammo for them for each one. So that's like 18 tons right there. But the benefit of that it, it would run super cool. Then I could take out heat sinks. And have extra weight for other stuff. I guess I don't know. I mean, or I could go all. Uh, I could go an LRM eighty build on this thing too. Like that's the other possibility. I just wanted the nice short, like bonus accuracy, short range firepower. But I don't know. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Like uh, the MRM thirty. Like we could go with an MRM thirty pair of MRM tens, and then put two ER lasers maybe on each arm. Like I don't know how. I don't know if I got enough MRM ammo for that either too, right? Like if we do that, that, yeah, we'd need more ammo and then I don't think, well, we'd have to really jiggy it around to get this to work. It's just all going to come down to like sinking the heat too, right? Like it's just so like heat intensive. That gives me nine tons. See, that way, like, that wouldn't be too bad. Right? Then we could, like, stack more protos in here. That's, like, still. You know what I mean? Like, it's, like, at a certain... I need an exchanger and stuff I should don't have. So at that point, I'm heat neutral, and then, like, I'm... I still feel like I'm a little undergunned here. I mean, it's good for pinpoint, I guess. I mean, I don't know. I just don't know. I just think for, like, this is what, 70-ton uh, mech? This just feels to me a little underloaded out. I mean, the way I had it before, I mean, it wasn't like it was... Uh, where is the... Here it is here. That's how often I use this thing. <laughs> I was like, where is the reload? Um, yeah, I don't know. Like, That's why I think the Ultra 5s on this thing, a pair of Ultra 5s 
because they're doing about the same damage as the ER. Um, or we could go with the ER PPC in each arm too, right? And, and an Ultra 5 in the CT maybe. Which we don't have. Right? I, I, I like the Nova build out the way it is. We have Ultra 10 and Ultra 20 ammo, but I don't have any Ultras. We have an LBX-5. It's only six tons. I mean, I don't know if I have any LBX ammo. That's the only problem. Oh, I do. I got cluster ammo and slug ammo. So, we, I mean, we could put two ER PPCs and an LBX. I'd be able to sink that heat. And then maybe the rather than the MRMs, like depending on how much weight we have left, we could go with LRMs in each torso. So if we go LBX, it's bonus ac. I mean, this thing is pretty damn accurate as it is. So I think I would go with slug ammo to keep it hard hitting. LBX oh won't fit the CT. Way too big. Wow, really, eh? Ultra 2 is like tiny, tiny. Pirate AC5 is even too big. So I guess the, I guess DACA in the CT is like out the window. But the other thing to do is to like go with two, like base it around, rather than going PPC, base it around two ER larges. Actually, let me just see something here. Interested to see what we could do with this. Sorry, guys. I'm just going to be messing around with this for the next little bit. So the ER PPCs, I, I okay. I used to like the larger, these large heavy lasers, and the reason why is they're really, really light. They do like the same amount of damage as the PPC. Yes, this has got minus one accuracy, but the heat and the range on them, it's like eh. I think I would rather go with a two ton, like this is six tons, right? almost exactly the same damage, an extra 240 meter range, right? It's applying stacking ECM jamming as it hits. Yes, it's got a recoil, but, but the pilot basically gets rid of that every turn. It's doing 11 less heat per turn, right? So to me, the PPC just seems like a better get a go-to for a heavier mech than a large like large heavy. Like you could build a medium and a light around, around the large heavy, and I think it would be a nice weapon to use. Uh, because it's like heavy damage for like a light, such a light mech. But when you're getting into heavier mechs, I'm thinking that the ER PPC is better because it's going to take you longer to get into battle and you're, want, and you're going to be shooting at range for a fair bit. And because these don't have a minimum range um, issue, right? As you get close, they're just as effective. Plus they're, they're you know, they're accurate too, right? So we go with something like that. Yeah, see, we're already in trouble here, right? I don't have any other way to like to sink that heat. I mean, we could put a supercharger in, I guess, and get rid of. I don't know, Bloodhound probe maybe. Warfare suite. We got the sheath beacon already, which is really nice. So. I guess got the ECM jamming of four on the carrier, which is awesome, and it gives you an ECM shield of four, right? So that's really, really nice. I don't think I would go with anything else other than that. But yeah, I don't know. Like, you'd almost want to go with DACA and the CT, but like I could. And like, if I go this route, then I'm losing the benefit of that that uh, turret mount, right? Like, I mean, it could do it this way, I guess. And then add some LRM ammo. It's not going to be much, though. Three and a half tons isn't much for, for LRM 40. Just for the sake of argument here. Uh, is this... How much is this way? Half a ton for the narc ammo. Don't think the narc's worth it, though, because unless you've got a... Like, the NARC is nice, but I don't want to dedicate 20, 20 missiles to it. It was nice when I had it on the LRM-10, 
right? Because even if you got like a 20% chance to hit your bounty with one of them, right? So it's nice to have it on a secondary launcher. I don't like using it just as a... It just seems like a waste, you know? A waste of space. Or a waste of an LRM-20, right? When you could be applying damage at the same time. So, I mean, yeah, I mean, we could cr cram another half ton of ammo in there or just add a bit of extra armor on the back. Or the legs, even. But, you know, two PPCs, uh, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. I'm just, I'm going to leave it as it is for now. You, you kind of have an idea of what I got. I'm going to keep my eyes open for more ACs. Because even like a pair of Ultra... I don't know if we can get a pair of Ultra 10s on this, but that might work. But even like two PPCs and an Ultra 5 in the CT might might be good. Or two larges on each arm and an Ultra 5 in the center. And then a pair of LRM 20s to round it out. No, because that's still gonna be too, that's still gonna be too much weight. Yeah, I don't know. I think it's okay for for what it is right now. But uh, like I said, I wanna I definitely want to mess around with this guy a little more. I mean, we could drop the LRM twenties twenties to fifteens on the torsos and go back to the two PPCs, two LRM fifteens. We'd have plenty of ammo at that point, and then I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to leave it here, guys. Hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. And please drop your comments in the comment section down below. Uh, and until next time, we'll see you later.